Okay, welcome to the month of September, the ninth month of the year, four months to the end of 2022. Wow, just like that, we're almost done with the year 2022. What can I say? You and I still have about four months to achieve whatever it is we want to achieve in this year. Yes, we can, and yes, we will. Anyway, back to the business of the day. Three amazing events lined up for your viewing pleasure, so sit back and enjoy it while also being mindful of sensitive images. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chikuose Oyelude. All right, just come with me. Let's go celebrate with Adwan Olaf, Afolabi, and Olarawaju Bangoche. They have a lot in common. They're both medical doctors and hail from the Yoruba tribe in southwest Nigeria. These, amongst other personal qualities, brought Olana Waju and Adwola together when she was undergoing her house job in the year 2020. Fast forward to 2022, they're telling a story of love, happiness and joy as they get set to become husband and wife. At Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic Church, Isheri Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, the bridal train ushers in the beautiful bride, Adwanla, who is led by her father, Mr. Yemi Afolabi. She joins her groom, Olarewaju Bangboshe. Olarewaju decided to go on this life's journey with Adwan Lai by his side, seeking the blessings of God. The God Almighty accept our sacrifice for them and for all of us and for the benefits of the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The priest joins this young couple in holy matrimony with everyone standing as witness, including the proud parents of the couple who are extremely happy to give their blessings. This day will certainly remain memorable for the couple and as they begin this journey, some advice from the officiating minister. Do not ever leave room to the poisonous element of dissatisfaction in your marriage. Do not give room to the poison of complaints. Never give room to the poison of impatience. Those poisons kill the joy of togetherness. Those poisons separate the home, separate the husband and the wife.
This seals their friendship of over two years, a feat worth celebrating. And with the singing and dancing, the service ends. She has a kind heart. Um, she's very caring, loving. In fact, she's everything to me. She's a very caring man. The most selfless person I know, actually. Very hardworking and really, really smart. They should stay as one, they should stay united, they should unite in prayer. Well, whatever the situation is, they should remember to put it before the Lord. I feel on top of the world. I'm really happy. I thank God for today. If there are hiccups, call yourself together, settle it within yourselves, and you know that you continue to move forward in life. A loving and a gentle man and I know that he's going to be a loving husband. For the party continues at the reception which is already packed with guests of the couple and their family. They waste no time as the fun gets underway with the parents of the day setting things off. It's time to welcome the couple of the moment, led by their bridal party. The couple danced all the way through to their seats as the bridal party continued. Shortly after, they're invited to cut their beautiful cake. The couple are having a good day. So are their families and friends who join them on the dance floor. A lot of energy and excitement about what the future holds for the couple. As Adola and Olariwaju take this bold step towards matrimony, 
Here's wishing them all the best together.